Hey guys, Astro here, back with another video, and uh, welcome to my devlog for my Friday Night Funkin' engine I'm making, uh, Astro engine. So at the moment, uh, I have recently added in two uh, new UI stuff. Uh, I've made the UI for the player, and I've co added in some code, so if I go ahead and I go to the UI and open, and open the notes here, I've got UI beat and scroll type. Essentially, what this does is UI beat is how we can is how I can control how many times it beats. So, for example, you, the, we're using Silly Billy as an example because that's what I'm coding. Uh, when I hit play, what will happen is you'll see the uh, arrows are beaten faintly. Uh, I can change the values by here for what I want, but I found 1.27. The presets work well enough. And I've also got scroll type, and how what this does is this sets the arrows to either down scroll, middle scroll, or up scroll. So, for example, if I disabled uh, that and I checked is up scroll, and I hit play, uh, the arrows are going to go up into the up scroll position whenever it loads. See? And now, from my prior experience, uh, middle scroll seemingly doesn't work when you don't have a uh, down scroll activated so um i think that's how you do it wait no my bad yeah it's got to be singular so what middle scroll does is it takes the down scroll preset uh, position and it just goes ahead and puts it centered in the middle of the screen i've also uh mocked up a little animation for boyfriend um yeah, so uh, if you, I'll take you guys through a little bit of the code for those of you that want to see it. So uh, we'll go through the UI beat uh, code first. So as you can see, it uh, we don't need JetBrains. Don't know why JetBrains is in there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, essentially uh, we've got a reference for all the stuff and a private bool. And that's it. essentially all we do is at the start we just call a coroutine, which is continuous zoom. And essentially, in the continuous zoom, uh, it, as long as is zooming is equal to true, which it's set to um, uh, on start, as long as it's equal to true, uh, what it does is it zooms in, waits for however long the delay is. So in our, so in base case, 0 0.25 seconds, zooms out, and then waits. And since this is a while loop, it'll keep executing as long as uh, as long as it's as, as long as continuous zoom is being called and then we've got zoom in essentially what it does is it, it checks if the if we're zooming if we're if we're not zooming it sets it to true it checks if the notes have been assigned and what it does is it makes a new transform which is the transform of the notes and it changes the uh, ve the vector 3 of the X and Y um, to the zoom amount so it makes them slightly bigger um, to give like the emphasis that it's coming closer to the screen since uh, using a canvas which is what I'm using at the moment because canvas works better than actual game objects you can't uh, use the Z axis to bring it closer because it doesn't work and then essentially uh, it just um, checks the elapsed time and changes the uh, what's it called arrows does the same for zoom out and that's that for the UI beat And then, what's it called? Uh, inside of our scroll type here, if we go ahead and open it up, why am I using visual scripting? I have no idea. Uh, then, inside of here, um, inside of a scroll type, it checks for the game object and it just has um, uh, three bulls and a default Y, which is uh, essentially what happens is uh, it sets the arrows to this Y position of 210. Which inside of Unity is just a little bit larger than the zero axis, so it's about 10 on the y axis. And then what it does is um, here we've got a little bit of math for the middle scroll. So for middle scroll x, what it does is it gets the uh, exact position of down scroll and then minuses, uh, when it gets the target position that we need for the middle scroll and minuses it away from. Uh, the down scroll position so it can get into a actual position and then basically we've got uh, three f statements for each uh, scroll type and essentially all they do is they just modify the y value depending on what it is so for up scroll it modifies the y, the y value by 300 
for middle scroll it modifies the y value by minus 134 and it modifies the x position with middle scroll x and then for down scroll it modifies the y position by minus 134 and uh, yeah that's all the code I've done so far so if you guys do want to see more coding videos or stuff like that or like watch me make a FNAF game or something like that let me do let me know uh, yeah but with that said I'll see you all in the next video. Astronomical out.